I finally figured out the secret to volume in your Forex trading. And I hope this video makes you a little angry. I really do. And I hope some haters come and go, Newsom, this isn't the way it works. And then you're going to trade it. And then you're going to slap me with a couple hundred dollar bills. And you're like, I'm so mad at you. Take my money. That's what's going to happen if you watch this video to the very end. You ready? Awesome. Here's what I learned. I just worked with a Forex specialist a few days ago. I had him come to my house and we spent three days together and I was learning from him. What I learned is that yes, volume on Forex is spread out over multiple different brokers and exchanges. For example, if I go to EURUSD and I click on Forex.com, guess what I'm gonna get? Nothing, no volume there because that particular volume is decentralized over everything and spread all out. But if you are going through an individual exchange where you have the ability to actually trade your currencies that is also indicated by volume in TradingView, my suggestion, use that one because it's just like cryptocurrencies. You have Binance, KuCoin, Kraken, Gemini, Coinbase. The volume on cryptocurrencies is exactly like Forex. It is exchange dependent. So if you are using your exchange to do your analysis and to do your trades, you want to make sure that everything is connected here in TradingView so that you know exactly what you're trading. Therefore, Euro US dollar on OANDA, pull it up and notice we have ourselves some volume. And this volume is exactly dependent on the money that's coming in and out. If I do Euro US dollar and I pop it over to ICE, ICE has approximately $400 billion a week of volume. But here in TradingView, you're not pulling it up, which tells me that if I'm going to be trading on ICE and I'm going to use a US dollar Euro, I probably should be comparing it to another broker that actually has the volume so that I can see what's happening, even though it's not on my exchange. But if you're able to, I don't know, use any Forex broker that you want, for me personally, I'm gonna use one that has volume so I can make my analysis, even though I'm aware that it's spread out over many different exchanges. I'm still gonna be using the principles that hold true in all of trading. There are buyers and there are sellers and buyers and sellers get emotional when things happen that they don't want to or they don't expect. Therefore, let me walk you through step-by-step step this outrageously delicious example here on the Euro. And then I'm gonna go back trade something for you that I've never seen before and we're gonna show you how it works. So this is Euro USD on Oanda. And notice this big bear volume. I love big bear volume at a support. I love it at a low. And here's why. I get to create an if then statement. If this price gets taken out, then I'm going to take a position. I'm going to understand what's happening and I'm going to be able to create a plan in the future. Your goal of trading is to create a plan ahead of time and then take action based on that plan. Here's a quick tip. The absolute best trades that you will ever make are the ones that you plan weeks, maybe days, or months in advance, and then when that trade comes into fruition, you take that position, and then you hold it for as long as you prepared the analysis for. So if you took four weeks to plan your analysis and said, if this, then this, and if this, then this, and you get into that trade, you should probably stay in it for four weeks. If you took four hours, you should probably plan on being on it in four hours. It all comes down to the amount of time that you spend analyzing something. Therefore, here on the Euro USD, big bear volume, and then we get a close above that volume candle just two days after. Once that happens, you now have the information that all these bears are trapped. So you're going to create a support level there based on that volume, and you're going to know that bears are trapped, and you should be looking to be placing longs. And look at all of that gorgeous Pipalicious. That is pips for days. Pips on pips on pips, if you know what I'm saying. On EURUSD, the close 
above all that bare volume, gave you a level that was so clean, so simple, so easy. You had trapped sellers, people who were getting squeezed out, people who had to buy to cover that was forcing the price to go up. It's a very, very common practice. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a random time. By the way, again, I've already done this before, so I'm gonna have to go even farther back because the last recording I did that was absolute fire, I didn't hit screen capture because I'm human. All right, here we go. Replay mode. And where should we go on the replay mode? Let's, let's time travel. Let's go back to, oh boy, 2009, when you were probably four years old. And I'm gonna click go to, and I'm gonna click the very last bar that I can find, bingo. <laughs> time out, flag on the field, Calvin Williams here, Jeremy's personal content creator, editor, shooter. I basically travel everywhere with Jeremy. Let me tell you guys, when we do these examples, we aren't picking the dates beforehand. We don't know what's gonna happen. Jeremy doesn't have multiple screens. He's just done this for literally over a decade and is very good at reading candles and volume and knowing the language of money. All right, back to the video. This is where stuff gets fun. To be clear, I want you to spend a bunch of time doing what I'm about to do. Go back in time, practice patterns using volume and candles. And then once you know what happens, do it again, and then do it again, and then do it again. Because Bruce Lee said, I'm not afraid of the man that knows a thousand kicks. I'm afraid of the guy who has practiced one kick a thousand times. I'm paraphrasing. So if I zoom out, what I'm now doing is I'm looking for volume. Oh my goodness. It The same, oh heavens, the same thing happened October 24th of 2008. The same thing I just talked about. Oh, Polly, where are you? We close above that volume. In fact, we actually didn't close above that volume here. We wicked above it. So check it out. When we close above that volume and we really take it out, particularly there and most importantly there, we actually skyrocket. Wow, well, that's not surprising anybody. Okay, all good. Continuing on. I'm gonna go ahead and look for a big volume bar and I'm gonna start drawing some analysis based on volume. And I'm only going to use lines and that's it. Okay. Boom, very obvious line. Boom, very obvious line. Zoom out a little bit. Create some lower highs and some trends. Okay, obvious support level here. Obvious resistance level chair. And then I'm gonna create, is this an ascending triangle? Oh man. Did we by accident find one of my favorite chart patterns on earth? I'm already getting excited. I'm already pumped up. This is so easy. I already know how this trade is going to work out. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. I love trading. Look at this big volume candle here. So that big volume candle is also going to become a resistance. All right, beautiful. And I'm going to make this one a little bit of a different color. I'm going to make this one red because I feel like if we break lower from here, we're going to come down into there. We're going to wick just a little bit below it, creating a potential buy order here that's going to create a very, very nice risk reward ratio. All right, now what I'm planning on and what I'm about to draw is the if then. Knowing how this pattern works, knowing how the overall compression works, I'm gonna draw my thesis of what I would like to do. And I'm gonna draw a few different colors and depending on what the colors do is depending on what I'm going to do. Now, as I'm drawing the line, you might go, well, how are you getting that insight? How do you know what's gonna happen? Try this, just draw some stuff on your chart and see how it plays out because I've been doing this for decades. That's how. I've seen these patterns so many times, they're in my brain. All right, we have, is this a 10 EMA inside candle? Oh boy. So if we pop and do this, all right, that's drawing number one. Perfect. I'm gonna watch for that one too. Number two is that we don't take this one out and we go higher, retest, pop, come into here and then pop out, pop out, pop out, pop out, and then consolidate. Okay. And then last but not least is it just rampages and somehow I picked a day that everything is just about to crush and we do something like that. And I'm gonna make that in red. Now, this is important. I am gonna analyze the volume as it's happening. I'm gonna do my absolute best to kind of walk you candle by candle through the sentiment that's occurring. But one of these three scenarios is gonna play out based on what happens in the next week. And that is because you have one, two, 
predominantly one, two, three strong bear candles here, which is a three bar play, but you have an inside candle that's also closing below the 10 EMA. I'm not gonna use this strategy right now, I'm just gonna show you that there it is. Uh, there's the 10 EMA and we are closing below there. Now here we had a 10 EMA candle also that did not trigger. That's why I drew the blue and the red. If we don't break this down, I think we're gonna go a little bit higher. All right, are we ready? Are we ready? Here we go. The blue line, to be clear, is drawn based off of this candle. Uh, you can see the rotation back into that candle because that was three bars and then we got the retest. But this is also a big volume candle right there. So the open of that candle is an old support and resistance and that's why the blue one exists. All right. High wave indecision, beautiful. Beautiful. So again, a breakdown is what uh, here comes. So it looks like blue. Blue is gonna be it. Are we gonna get the, are we gonna get the close? Nope, no close yet. All right, so we got blue. Okay, take this off. All right, purple or blue, purple or blue. Three bars in a row, here's the drop. Inside candle, beautiful. So this on the blue should be right here, this little rotation down. This is what we should be coming into now. Now on the purple, you can see this, the purple analysis and the blue analysis so far, we're still catching this little wave up. So we should have some type of pause, some type of consolidation, some type of rest, and then another pop higher. And this is where I would zoom in and on a Forex trade, I'm looking to go long after some type of rest and a pop. So I can zoom into whatever time frame that's important to you, four hour, three hour, six hour, anything that you've practiced. Uh, here, here we go, high wave, here it comes. Now I'll just bracket trade this, long or short. This candle right here, long, short. Now keep in mind, I would zoom into this, I'd have my order set, all right, short. So I don't know how many pips we caught on there. Here's your three bear bars, here it comes, right? So this is it. We, we are at this stage right here in the drawing are we ready? If we get a strong pounce, here we go. Oh my gosh. Two thousand and eight, ladies and gentlemen. Are you telling me this works in two thousand and eight? I'm telling you it works in two thousand and eight. All right, purple's gone, and we're about to have fun. Boom, boom, boom. Bull bars, three bears down, high wave, increasing bull volume, okay? So again, we're zooming in. We're playing this on different time frames, hourly chart, three hour chart. I don't know if I can zoom in too small. I don't wanna mess up this particular back trade. Um, so just keep that in mind as, as I'm zooming in, if this is real time, I'm popping in and I'm watching for longs. Now, all we need is a close below 144 and, and we're set. We're totally set. Consolidate, 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 consolidate. There's the close. Right on cue, right on time. I mean, look, I'm just gonna drag it up. Boop, there we go. <laughs> I mean, okay, so we got the move. Now, retracement, I can drag this up. And again, looking for longs on dips in all the right places. That should be a song. Volume, increasing, four bars, increasing. Overall trend, holding. We're going to 1.47142. That's where we're going. You guys ready to go there with me? Here we go. And bang, we're there. We're there, because again, still zooming in. On a daily chart, yes, I want a little bit more of a retracement, but on Forex, as you all know, when you're playing pips on pips on pips, you're zooming into smaller time frames. you know the trends, you're looking at three hours, one hour, five hours, five minutes, and you're tagging, but you know the direction, you know the trend, that is the key. Okay, so here's the pullback, All right? So this is this retracement here, right there, beautiful bear candles. So again, you're playing this hammer on smaller time frames. you're zooming in smaller time frames, but you know the overall trend. Next, uh, again, remember this was a freehand drawing, so we're, that was that, where you should have one more good push, and then we should have a little bit of a bigger dip before we go higher, which is, this rotation down here coming up into a, into a higher move. So we should get a little bit more of a bull and then a little bit more of a dip. Okay, here's the dip. So that's, the, that's this move there. Okay, beautiful. And
All I'm saying is when you incorporate volume, you incorporate patterns, you practice this stuff, you understand waves, and you understand the most important part of identifying what's going to happen is the trend. Once you get the trend, now your job as a trader should be like, okay, I see all of this happening. Cool. Good job for you, Newsom. Thanks for literally predicting the future on this particular trade to the, to the day, freehand. Now what should we do? Well, again, the point is, now that you know what's going to happen, go back and back trade it on either smaller time frames, bigger time frames for you. Because I can do this. I can do this in my sleep. This is easy. I want you to be able to do this because I care about you. I know for sure you master this, you make more money, you increase your net worth, you provide more to your church, your community, to charities, you help, you give, you provide, you feel free. And when you feel free, you feel happier. When you feel happier, you change the world for the better. We make an impact. That's what we're here to do. We're here to enrich lives. So Euro, US dollar. Now I'm gonna go back to a smaller time frame, and <clears throat> I'm gonna go back to this little hammer right here. This little, this little perfect hammer candle. And I'm going to see, I'm pretty sure I can go into a smaller time frame. Let me go into an hourly. I don't think this should mess it up. Nope. 2009. And what we're looking for is like, okay, how could I have taken this trade again? Ready? Just based on volume. And, and here's the practice. So you have three strong bull candles in a row that close above a big bear volume. So here's your big bear volume right there. Again, this is the hourly chart. And you got three bull candles in a row. So this is your consolidation right there. And so you're looking at going long. You already know the trend. And again, yes, we already know what's going to happen. We already know it's going to pop higher. All of that is irrelevant. What we're doing is I'm helping you see how to actually practice this stuff and understand that, yes, volume absolutely matters on Forex. Okay, entry above that candle, stop below these lows. Uh, target one is the blue line, and then target two is up there at a new high. Okay, so here's the hourly chart. Next candle, mm, look at the volume. The volume is like, please, <laughs> it wants to go. The volume has decreased for six bars in a row. That is unbelievable. Now again, I'm not even gonna pull up any moving averages. I don't need them, but I can trust me. I, I can tell you what they're doing. All right, volume is compressing. Oh, give me that upper shadow, yeah. Upper shadow without triggering in. Shorts coming in, trying to pop it down. Volume increased and we're long. And we're profitable and we're at target one. Again, I know that we already knew that I knew in this instance what was about to happen. But I want you to use that knowledge. Use the awareness. Use your consciousness of here's the pattern. Here's how it worked. Here's why it worked. And then drill down to whatever trade you're trying, trying to do, whatever time frame you're trying to do, and then practice that exact same one over and over and over and over. Why? You should be asking this question. Why was Newsom so excited about this volume decrease and then this little upper shadow? Well, let's talk about it. If I come back over here, why am I so excited about hiding everything? This volume and then this candle. Well, that's because this candle is an inside candle the volume is the lowest volume on the screen, which tells me that everyone is extremely indecisive. And at some point, like hurting a bunch of cats, when you get a bunch of indecision, buying and selling, at some point, indecision becomes decision. And I'm very excited about that candle because it's bearish. So if I want a stock to go higher and I say, if two letters, if we go higher, the traders that formed this bear candle will be trapped because they want to go lower and there's not a bunch of them. So they're going to be getting out. They lost small and then they're going to flip their positions because they're good boys and girls. I love this candle because it has a tiny minute little upper shadow. That upper shadow is created by the short sellers from this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy still trying to press it lower. And if we pop in, the short sellers on that upper shadow are going to be a little bit pissed and they're going to have to buy to cover. And again, that's going to press the stock higher. But all those things you have just learned for free, make sure to hit that subscribe button because you want to party with me. Yes, here we go. These two candles, all right? I like the upper shadow. I love the close. Look at the volume increase. A lot of traders are going to bail here, but there's no reason to. There's no reason to. 
All you need to do at this stage is you can move your stop loss. You hit a little bit at target one. You can move the stop loss again, and then you can hold for a really nice win by walking away from the charts. So let's just see that play out in real time. All right. So we, we already know it's going to go to here. Okay, so we, we already know that. So we're going there, and then I'm going to move the stop. And we're not going to slam it to here because that's what everyone's doing. Don't be like everyone. You'll make more money that way. I'm going to place my stop loss right here. I'm going to give this upper shadow some time to consolidate because there are shorts who are piling in here. That's why that upper shadow is created. And ladies and gentlemen, let the world know, if we close above that upper shadow, we, on the euro US dollar, are going higher. What we could hope for is a consolidation, three bulls in a row, so you're going to get a bear. There's your bear. <laughs> and it's an inside candle, old resistance, new support. Oh, my goodness. Consolidation. Do not move your stop yet. Do not move your stop on a bear candle. You already know how this works. You're doing so out of fear. Oh, oh my goodness. Is that three bears in a row after three bulls in a row? I wish I knew what was going to happen after that. I do. Layup. That's a layup, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen my three bar play. And some of you call it a stupid strategy. And that's fine. But now you know. Now you know who the goat is. I'm not showing you my profits. That's irrelevant. It doesn't matter how much money I make. It matters how much money you make. I'm not here for me. I've already made it. I got it. I'm here for you. I'm here to guide you. I'm here to hold your hand. I'm here to teach you things that no other teacher can teach you because the one thing I can do at, because I love it the most in life is to educate. My personal mission in life is to enrich lives with mentally liberating education. I hope you found this both helpful, valuable, entertaining, and enriching. And if it did, you know what to do with this. You already know. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, love, life, live, life, and trade. Bye.